Yes, today is the last day of the gem convention here in Hong Kong. And yeah, this one is the jewelry convention, not the gemstone convention. Here, here sold finished jewelry and other jewelry products like, for instance, packaging or tools. And they have the most amazing jewelry pieces in the world actually here. It's the last day, unfortunately, but we will enjoy it. We will take a look at some jewelry. Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's how it's built. You can see that's the stairway up stairs to heaven. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's been seven days. And what can I tell you? Uh, I've been here since Tuesday. So I've been here uh, six days, basically. Um, I was at the show for six days, but the first day I was not able to get in because I was too late already. I was missing a flight. But it was quite a success, to be honest. I mean, it was a lot of, a lot of recording. I've seen a lot. It's a lot of people. It's crazy. But the good news is I have this uh, trader's ID here, this golden pass. Which means I don't have to always show my pa I don't have to show my passport at all. I could just you know skip and just go in, save time. So where do we go first on the first? Yeah, let's let's pick up my loop because I forgot my loop yesterday. Let's see. All right. So here we go. So it looks like. Um, the ground floor. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, that's how you pass the security. There's no searching, there's nothing. It's quite convenient. It's more convenient than Bangkok. In Bangkok, it's a lot of, yeah, complications with security and safety. But here, it's super safe, I guess. Yeah, quite confident and uh, not searching the people, I mean, it's crazy. Unimaginable, I mean, this is much, much higher class than Bangkok. In a sense of Bangkok also had amazing stuff, don't get me twisted. There was also millions, hundreds of millions, who knows. But this year's first show hundreds of millions. Like, this is, there's one floor, we will go there on the third floor where you have literally, like, oh, one of the biggest gems, like, highest class gemstones in the world. A collection of just insanity. Let me find my loop. You've been taking hostage of my loop, I heard. <laughs> I don't <Got> you. <laughs> I lost the two loops yesterday. <laughs> Thank you so much. How's it going, bro? Good, good, pretty good. And always mark your loops, because then you know it's yours. What do you guys think? This would look cool, huh? Take a look at the opal. There's a pendant. The diamonds. So yeah, what do you guys think? This is a pretty cool design, huh? Where are you from, Russia? Where? So that's how it's looking like. With a little uh, different settings. It's the opal. It's a beautiful opal, Ethiopian opal with diamonds and 14 karat gold. The chain is 18 karat. It's quite solid. Let's make some jewelry. Mm. All right, guys, I found the brand that cuts natural diamonds into ideal cuts, guys. They have a selection of ideal cut diamond jewelry. Wing Hung Diamond Company Limited. Simply amazing. Those are the bracelets and the chains here. And yeah, they are quite expensive, but they are the rarest form of diamond. They are natural diamonds in hearts and arrow shape cut, round cut hearts and arrow cut. I will explain to that further in another video or you, you watch my previous videos. Amazing brand, superb class, the highest class of diamonds in the world. Check them out. So you definitely see a lot of mixed stuff here from quite cheap to super expensive. Like I'm right now in the... Uh, First floor, a ground floor, and look at the size of this emerald. This is 
crazy. And then right on the other side we have custom jewelry, like hip hop jewelry basically. And so, yeah, that's how it looks like. Here's a lot, a lot of jewelry, like jade from jade on one side to diamonds on the other. It's a, it's a mixture out of jade and uh, colored gemstones and diamonds but not the highest class really of colored gemstones. I mean, you can't really say, it's not like every piece here is super amazing. It's just a mixture. It's just a mixture. But uh, I realized like, they don't want you to record. you like in the sense of, <coughs> I can walk like this, but once I turn the camera to the booths, it's like, they are on high alarm, but here you can see, it's like not the uh, most amazing jewelry. It's just, you know, small pieces that are nice to look at, but they are not, uh, yeah, <laughs> highest level. Oh yeah, black diamonds, let's. Guys, I thought this is black diamond, but it's actually black jade, and yeah, it's quite rare, right? It's, mm -hmm. I don't see, I haven't seen it anywhere, like, can I maybe take a look at one piece? Yeah, sure. Maybe you can take out one piece. This is from Burma. From Burma also, huh? Mm -hmm. Burma is known for, like, the best jade, right? It's, yeah. It's amazing. Wow. The butterfly here. And it's jadeite, actually. It's jadeite. Yes. It's not raffrate or something. It's, it's real jadeite. Jade. The most expensive type of jade. Well, let me show you, like, how is black jade show? You see it's in black, but if you put it under the light... Yeah, I saw it. It's maybe a little bit uh, uh, transparent. It's green, yeah. That's that's very cool. That's very cool. It's transparent green, but it appears black without the yeah. background lighting. Yes. Wow, this is I like it. It's very nice. Are there maybe also different colors? Like when I have black jade, it could be a little, a little reddish or something under the light, or is it usually green? Usually green. Usually green. Yeah. Very dark green. Okay, so we look at very very dark green jade actually, and it's appearing black. That's uh, an illusion, matter of fact. Interesting. But you cannot tell anything, like it really looks black, it's just black, magnificent, wow. Magnificent. Does this also exist and treat it? Like if people, they could uh, dye it black, right? If they would uh, fake it, right? I'm not sure, because we just do the natural. Yeah, of course you do, because yeah. the other stuff is worthless, right? Type B or C, it yeah, doesn't yeah. have any value. You do want to sell something that has yeah. value if you uh, rent a booth here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, beautiful, beautiful jade. Amazing, yeah, I haven't seen it. How much is the price like for a piece like this? I'm wondering. Something like this? Yeah. In dollars, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, dollars is uh, 11. So 1,184 US dollars. I see. That's that's quite affordable, isn't it? Nice, beautiful. So for a black piece of jade that's transparent, 1,184 dollars. And a piece like this? So it's a. Uh, it's a brush, right? So this one's five thousand one hundred ninety. Five thousand one hundred ninety-two US dollars. Very nice. Very cool. So maybe I'll show the name of the brand if you want. Yeah. So we are at um, Himi Jewelry Co Ltd here at the Gem Show in Hong Kong. It's the last day, and. There's always more amazing stuff to see. I didn't even know that black jade exists, but apparently it does. Amazing, beautiful. Thank you for showing me. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, it's unimaginable. Take a look at this. It's insane. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> They don't like to record, I guess, but there's a, a, a hawk, a Saudi Arabian hawk made out of uh, tourmaline. I think it's even Paripa tourmaline. At least it's standing under it. And I can tell you, this is unimaginable. Like, the, the beaker of his mouth is made out of gold and the eyes, I think, it's unimaginable. I don't want to trigger them with recording because they don't, they don't like to be that. They don't like that on video to be recorded. Uh, yeah, let's see. But I can tell you, as you see a lot of stuff here that's way beyond, like unimaginable. Like, can't imagine. This is crazy.
crazy looking. I mean, wow. That's how it looks like here. Dude, I really want to record this. Like, <laughs> it's so cool looking. Just from far away, you can see like it's a glowing hog in there. Yeah, pretty dope. Okay, that's enough. I think it's probably, but it could be. Aqua. I think it's Aqua. Yeah, yeah, most likely it's Aqua. But yeah, that was enough. I want to trigger them. They do take all of them. Take photos and videos. I mean, it's almost impossible to uh, prevent people taking videos or photos. But uh, you also want to respect the people. Like this is a one of a kind piece. You know what I mean? So if people want to copy it, it you can't prevent it. Pretty much. That's the thing. You can try to, but yes. yeah. Here's the lab-grown section. Let's take a look in there too, maybe. But like I said, it's, who can afford stuff like this? It's also not for sale, actually. He told me, I think, the, some other guys who talked to him, he, they told me it's not even for sale because you cannot reproduce it like that. That carving is one of a kind. It's a one of a kind carving, even to find a aquamarine of that color and that size. So it is for sure for a Dubai prince or, you know, like someone that has a lot of resources, actually. If the seller is willing to sell it because if he doesn't need to and he doesn't care about you know money then he keeps it you know it's it's a one-of-a-kind piece it's like with watches or cars or you know specific gemstones pieces of art the Mona Lisa it's, it's similar you know look at this this is the exact opposite of what we see in the luxury <laughs> section it's packed of people look at this that is also how you make money. That's how you make a lot of money, you know? Selling goods that are, you know, available to the masses, like lab diamonds. It's very popular, you know? This is all lab. Look at this, sparkle is crazy. Beautiful. 10 carat tennis bracelet. Let's see. Take a look at the sparkle, guys. This is CBD. Uh, it's CBD or HP? CBD. CBD, CBD. The best lab grounds. What's the price for this one? Um, 2,415. US dollar. What is it set in? Like what metal? Uh, 18K white gold. 18K white gold actually, right. wow. Japan. Wow, okay. From Japan. It's from Japan? The product is from Japan. Oh, okay, okay. And okay. then, yeah. The diamond is also from Japan. Beautiful. Take a look at this, guys. So, 2,415 US dollars for diamonds. Well, it's lab grown diamonds, but it is diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> it is the same. You, you cannot really tell from the You from can the cannot eyes. tell from the eyes. Right, no. Guys, I told you how you can tell. I actually have the diamond tester in my backpack. It's, one, it's the only diamond tester that can do it efficiently on a, as a mobile station. And uh, yeah, you cannot tell. It's impossible to tell by the eye. It looks the same way. Why spending so much money on real diamonds if you could just get this, right? If you lose this, you won't be as mad as if you would lose a real one, like... It doesn't hurt you. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it depends, but it would be a big, big, huge difference in terms of pricing. So, yeah, how many carats? 10 carats of time. 10 carats in total. Wow. In total. In total, 10 carats, guys. And it's like 4 millimeter or like, it's 4 millimeter stones probably, right? Uh, like this is 5. I have a double check. Yeah, yeah, this is 5, then it, it should be 4. This I'm is pretty sure. Too. This is 5, five millimeter. Like, like room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw this one in real, and it's, uh, I think it was 5 mm. Yeah, yeah. It was 108,000 US dollars, but it was an ideal cut. So you would get this around 60,000 a natural. 60,000 would be natural on the market, right? On, on, a, on the consumer market. So there you can see there's a huge price difference and it's beautiful. I mean, <laughs> sparkly, sparkly. I love it, I love it. Yeah, should I show the name of your brand maybe? You wanna? Retail. Oh wow, this whole is all yeah, your brand. Yeah. Well, take a look at this, guys. All of this is from... We have the real the... diamond in the front. Oh, you also have real diamonds? Yeah, okay, course. in the front is, is, is real diamonds. Guys, take a look at this packed here. So we are at uh, Vital Trading Co. LTD. Crazy, crazy. From Japan, actually. Simply is the best, I see. Very popular, very popular. You know where in the world you get 
a tennis bracelet for that price in diamonds, right? CVD diamonds. Amazing. Guys, so I'm right now in the Japanese section. Don't underestimate the Japanese. They do have amazing gemstones. I mean, the size here. The size and uh, everything. I mean, this is minor oil, Colombian emerald. Unimaginable. Don't underestimate the Japanese. They do have quite an affinity for gemstones and jewelry. Yeah, and pearls. I mean, here, yeah, so many pearls. It's all Japan. Amazing, amazing. Take a look at the pearls here. So many pearls. Matter of fact, they have uh, invented the, uh, or they at least have been one of the first, if not, they are the first for being known for cultivating. Well, Japanese are also known for being the first people to cultivate pearls, actually. And that's why they are still, today, together with the Chinese, the biggest creators of the markets for pearls and coral. And uh, I think pretty much everything that's in the ocean and that could be considered a gemstone. Uh, yeah. The interesting part is if you have something you do not want to sell, it's not for sale, right? you show it to the world and at the biggest gem convention. It's kind of a contradiction. Maybe it's just there for you to represent, you know, that you have to show the people I have this, right? But you don't want them to record it. It's kind of like, yeah, that's a contradiction a little bit. I mean, it's, yeah, it's impossible almost. If in a sense, if you can put up everywhere these no camera signs, like right here, no cameras allowed. But does it really work? If you have people there to enforce it, it does work. But if you don't, then people will just pull out their smartphones. It takes literally like 10 seconds, not even. And then you have the recording. So yeah, got to respect, you know I mean, the people, but you also got to make sure that you don't get lost in the restrictions, you know, in a sense of it's crazy. Like some restrictions here, especially in Germany. I'm from Germany, you know, the, the restrictions are quite ridiculous and don't even make sense. Like, that's why I'm a little bit worried about this whole restriction stuff, you know. No taking of photos. There was literally at the Japanese booth a sign that said, uh, pay, pay attention, surveillance operating or something like this. <laughs> attention, uh, surveillance is on. Something like that stood in the, in the showcase. And I was like, what does this even mean? Like, surveillance is on? <laughs> Yes, everywhere surveillance, everywhere are cameras. It's the most safest place in, in the world, probably. Like you, can, you, every step you take here is recorded and on somewhere on a hard drive. <laughs> you know, on many hard drives, as a matter of fact. And yeah, I don't know. I guess they they have fear. You know, like being scared is never good. You always have to keep pushing, show no fear. And, Continue and strive and you will be successful because Yeah, fear prevents you from doing stuff. You know, if I would be scared to do this here, man, I'm not scared Dude, I know exactly what I'm doing here, you know, I know I have certain I have some knowledge about gemstones, you know, I do know some stuff and I'm also not scared to go with places. So why not showing you guys the most amazing gemstone convention? So that's the last staircase to the fifth floor. We will take a look at some diamond testers now. They are the owners of the companies and the engineers actually. It's interesting to talk to them. Let's see what they have to say about their new invention. Here's the machine guys. The first in the world to combine two technologies all in one. Spectroscopy and thermal conductivity. So this Optical fiber technology, the spectroscopy, is a new technology and it doesn't need to be closed with this one. That's why it's transparent. It looks also pretty cool. But the old technology actually needs to be closed during the calibration process. But this also needs to be closed during calibration because of the heat conductivity. There is a change in uh, temperature in between if it's closed and if it's in the open. So you should definitely keep this closed if you calibrate it because of the heat conductivity. I learned something. Yeah, of course, you have to always uh, educate yourself about the product. You don't, if most people actually don't do it. It's nice that you do it. You know, most people just try to sell. I have it only in the show. Yeah, yeah, of course. You have it only in the show. And if the customer wants to calibrate by themselves also, it will take a few seconds. They can and during calibration, the cover must close. Yes, it is better to have the cover closed. Yeah. 
That's ready. That's ready. You can do this thing. Yes. Uh, this is a default standard mode. So in this mode, you have to push little to get the results. So we will hold like this. Yep, you was not straight. Yes. 90 uh, degree angle. <laughs> Usually. To show the display. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to show Should the display. I do from here. <laughs> yes. Um, maybe. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, the proper way is uh, your hand should be not like this. It should touch the thing, right? Yes. This oh. is oh. conductive. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So if you touch metal, it, it knows you touch metal, right? It's, yes. it's to uh, ground you. It's a grounding. This part is the grounding part of the device. And it should be perpendicular 90 degree. 90 degree angle. Yes. I think you do it. <laughs> yeah, we have been in class here in March in your shop from your husband. I see. So it's not conductive, it knows it's easy. Yes. All right. And this is what the other testers cannot do. They cannot tell CZ apart from the other stones. The other testers would tell CZ is a natural diamond. Interesting. So this is simulant. It's not even a CZ. Why is it So this one was CZ. Yeah. This one was simulant because it, it, it is a white sapphire. White sapphire? Yes. Oh, okay, so okay. It will show simulant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, but it's quite conductive sapphire, right? It knows it. It recognizes the conductivity of it and says, yeah, yeah. And uh, this one is mosaic. And under all your regular cheap diamond testers, the moissanite tests as, as, actually as diamonds because it's so conductive, right? Yeah. This one is HPST. Oh, I see. Your lab room diamonds have some. Uh, 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 it's, it's connected with the metal, then yeah. it will show metal. Some of the uh, lab room diamonds can show uh, metal result if it is. Uh, it has some particles of metal. Oh, really? So interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So HPHD is also the older synthetic version. A CVD is the newer version. Yes. The first uh, synthetic was HPHD. And that's a CVD or? Yes. Yeah. So this is HPHD and this is CVD. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And if you have a type 2A, which is very rare in natural... I diamonds, tested actually the machines. It, it will test as a CVD or HPHD. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. going to sample it under Poker and Pocket. And every year we will, he will make the nails product. Yeah. yeah. Diamond. And that's a natural diamond. Yes. Earth mine. Very interesting. Very cool. Yeah, just close it for safety also. You know, if it falls down, whatever, this yes. is fragile. You don't want to break that off. Yes. It's irreplaceable, yeah. And in this, we have a one more uh, function called a quick test mode. And that, that's just a spectroscopy, right? I yes, figured that already yes. out. Yeah. If you don't want to check your simulator, if you can, if you can tell already that this is, uh, yeah, yeah, most, yeah. Of, uh, most of the experienced, you know, yeah. uh, the one who are in dealings like the retailers, yeah. who are in this business from a long time, they don't check CZ. They, uh, they simply say that okay, we can check it with your naked eyes. We but one question: What if you take the quick test and mm -hmm. put a white sapphire on it? What will it say? <coughs> uh, cannot. Cannot do it, correct, right? No, cannot give, cannot yeah. give you the correct results. Because, exactly, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, it can show either a mosaic or a diamond. Exactly, most, but most of the diamond what will it say then? What, what what happens if we do a quick test? What would, would it say? Because I know from if you take a, do the quick test on the CZ, it mm -hmm. will tell it's natural diamonds, right? Yes. That's always the case, because always. Yeah. Program not to test CZ. And exactly, it's, it's, it's that's the limitation. That's why this device is the only in the world that can do all of the white gemstones. Yes. It's the only in the world. On the market right now, it's ama it's insane, but it's true. Like Smart Pro is the only machine, and uh, there are a lot of limitations. And uh, I guess they, they did a great job at doing it. Just yesterday we had an issue. You know that that was the issue, but that was because of the light. You said like yeah. when when you I changed the light, the light settings, and yeah. it was perfect. And it was perfect. Okay. Because okay. of our every three seconds. Work on principle of the light reflection. I see. Because I see. Light, a lot of light from the outside. It's disturbing. Off. Very cool. Can I try it out myself? And meet my boss. <laughs> so uh, you want to be the seen? One who invented this? Aram, Hello. This is He's the uh, one who. I'm the YouTuber this. that does everything about gemstones. You told me about you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice. So you yeah, have the first machine, machine, in the world that does both. Because it's convenient in the sense of, 
uh, I show the other tester I have also one to the uh, to the people that want to test stones and then I tell them but you have restrictions like white sapphire can't be tested and it's easy also not and then they're like well then the machine is not good enough well here you have it all in one right yeah, yeah. we are the most uh, smaller testing tip in the world the smallest tip the smallest the, tip, yeah. yeah the smallest you size. Bird, this inside? The glass yes. is bird, The glass fibers in there. It's yeah. a fiber optic inside. Exactly, yeah. It's a fiber optic inside. It's quite hard to produce, right? Of like course, it's yeah. it's yeah. not that easy yeah. to it's, produce. It's, it's like a kind of innovation we designed. It's innovation, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It's like a spectrometer. Yeah. We march to the mix smaller. Yeah. Because the other providers that have these testers, they always sell a kit. They have two testers. You know, oh, you yeah. need the the the, beep, the beeper tester that everybody has, yeah, and then you need the other one. Yeah, yeah. Like a two test, formal yeah. test, and UV test. What is the Bluetooth about? Can you connect it with your phone or? Yes, yes. Uh, application which you can see in the iPad. Oh, oh. so it's an Android and and. Uh, yeah, both, both. Android and iPhone. Okay. Right now it's only iPhone. Uh, so you right now it's only iPhone. iPhone. See, uh, I will show you how the application looks here. Okay. So this is the smart application. Okay. Yeah. If you if you click on here, uh, there is a new app, but it is uh, but now uh, I am using the old application mm -hmm. because the Max is not available for the iOS, mm -hmm. but it it available for the Android. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so okay, okay. They can connect uh, the Max with the Android one. So in uh, in that application, you will have one more. Uh, place for the max and okay, then okay. with uh, using the bluetooth here in the settings okay, you can start the bluetooth see the bluetooth has started if yeah. you have an android phone you can connect now uh, it is under construction one once it is uh, available for the ios we will release it okay okay, okay. yeah i see but I currently see. the customer can enjoy on the android so connected so how do you do it <laughs> So that's the Android where the uh, yes, Smart Pros yes. are available. Now it's ready. This is ready. Okay. So if you test. Now you can hear much more louder. I don't know what version she's using it. I just test it. Let's do the natural one. Diamond, yes. yeah, I see, I see. So you also have numbers for the first test, right? Yes, yes. And then now the second test. Oh, cool! As you can okay. see, guys. So I will so you show have how this application works. I love it. You have uh, an order now. You you don't have to actually remember it. You have to, you can actually you know make a list or somewhat. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty no, cool. I will show you. I'll just clear the result. Why we have uh, created the application? Because yeah. it is much more easy, uh, more much more readable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can save it. So, but uh, for that we recommend the customers to use it at least five times a single stone mm -hmm. to uh, you know to get fully satisfied. Yeah, to okay. to be one hundred percent sure yeah, about yes. the result because so, sometimes it can differ because, from yeah. Uh, the Why cut is different? also about the cut, what I experienced. Yeah. If they say, uh, test the wrong way, it will wrong Exactly, way. exactly. Yeah, you must be careful. You yeah. must yeah. follow exactly the rules. Yeah. And for conductivity tests, you must touch the metal part. Yes. If not, you could you could touch the metal and it would still detect not detect it. Then you know that's the issue with the metal. And you don't have to touch it's only here. for thermal. When yeah, you use yeah. thermal, you have to touch that. Yeah. So you're testing the, the same stone five times, right? Yeah. Yes. So it's always the same result. You are sure about that this is a uh, synthetic stone. See, after the five stone, these options like add certification uh, will, uh, will be on. Mm -hmm. And here you can go it and you can see it here, you can add your certification, you can write down the seller name, uh, the, it will wow, show, wow. This, this is not So editable. you have a structure, you, you have yes, a structure. This is not editable, but you can write the measurement, weight, shape, color, clarity, mount, it, is it mounted or yeah, not, yeah, see, see, description see. or not, okay. So this can, uh, you it's can write down. And plus, if you want no, to take the photograph, what you have tested, from, you can, the uh, you can, Screen. Open the your yeah, yeah. Uh, take a photo of it, photo. attach it to it, and yes. then you know what you've been testing. Have a better overview. Yeah. Yes, and then you can get certificate like this. 
Is it a PDF it. file or what is it, a photo? Uh, this will be a PDF file, but right. you can share it on WhatsApp or something. You can save it in your phone. All right, it's no JPEG, on, it's real yes, PDF. Yes, PDF. You can, and then also you can go and certificate mode and view all certificates. Your yeah, certificates and then will be here. That's nice. Uh, I so. think, uh, yeah, today is 22nd. This was a certificate. Uh, PDF, sure. I think this one, PDF. Okay, this again, because this is saved in your... As far as you don't delete it, it will be in your, uh, you know, the application. Of course. And uh, you can save it and you can... Uh, you can or easily find it. You just go on the app and you see it. If you have a lot of documents, you cannot find it because you're, I have the same issue. Can, but if you go into the app, you will find it. Yeah, yeah, saving, you can remember document as well. Very so cool, very cool. it will be very easy and conven convenient to you to find out. Uh, what, what, what about like the uh, ch is, do you charge it with this or do you yes. also can you run it yes. can you run it without batteries yeah, and just on that so we have an inbuilt battery inside yeah okay and we have a type c charger okay okay so it's uh, built in battery yes inbuilt battery in, i'll try to yes. get it out i was uh, for confused yeah you can have to plug yeah yeah i see i see but so you can exchange it the batteries if they are bad the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. So in wheel battery, no need to remove until and unless it's going to be bad or broken. Or if it, even if it is get broken after a year or a two, you can still use it. You remove the battery through. Put throw new it one. Yeah, and I see, if you I don't see. have a battery, yeah. you can plug in the charger or with the power bank also you can. I use see. It. So it's easier as with the phones. The new phones you cannot. You have to go to a store and exchange yeah. it here. You can do it yeah. yourself. Yeah. I, I see. the battery, you still can use it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I see. I see. Very nice, very nice. We also it, provide the adapter and the cable with this one. Is it 1.2 volts probably, right? Like like triple A or is it tri no, double no, no, A? No, no, no. It's a lithium battery. It's a lithium battery. It's a customized battery. Lithium battery. It's, it's, a, yes. it's, a, it's a specific from you uh, yes. battery. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So you sell also then the batteries? Yes, and, actually and that's yes. why we make uh, more user battery. So if customer damage the battery, they can remove the battery, they can plug and they can use it. Until they're waiting. Oh, yeah. They're wa while they're waiting, they can use it with the cable. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I see. Very nice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. How long is the battery lasting? Like, how long can you test uh, with this? If you fully charge it, lasts about a week. One week. How many stones? Uh, like, how many hours? Depends on, yeah. like, user. If you use continue with 1,000 a day, it will finish in a day only. Yeah. But if you do only two, three rings or five rings, yeah, yeah. it will last for one week. One week. Okay. Yes. If you do a little testing here yeah. and there every day, it will last one week. Very nice. Pretty cool. We and then, do have an indicator of the battery. They will indicate you like how much you run the battery. Oh, you also have an indicator. Yes. Very nice. Otherwise, it becomes red. It becomes red. Okay, yeah, so green, indicator. red, green, red is the color. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, quite an uh, quite an innovation, isn't it? <laughs> it's the only one in the world. Charge it will yeah. be. It red. will also red. red. Also be red. And you can while charging also you can use it. All right. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. I tried to get my hands on it, but you have not been able to supply it to Germany. I requested it in Germany. It was quite difficult to get. Now I'm here in Hong Kong. I see it. Now uh, I could actually get one, also get one. Pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. So check them out, guys. Smart Pro is one of a kind diamond tester at the moment. It's the only one. It's the first one who combines conductivity with spectroscopy. Very nice. Thank you for showing me. So guys, the issue was not that the bracelet was uh, dirty or something, that there was oil on there. That's not the case. And it was also not that the machine is defect. It was the, the fact that I'm holding both pieces in my hand and trying to connect it because this is not a, um, doesn't have, a, how you call it, suspension in the tip. It's just a stiff tip. So you have to ideally put it onto a ground or something which is stable and onto the desk and uh, push it onto it and then you will get very quick results as you can see and it makes no sound when you don't push it hard enough or it doesn't connect really you don't have to push hard if you have it on the desk it's immediately a real good result like that's that was the issue yesterday in the video but now as you can see the sound is appearing you push a little harder just a little bit you know and then you get the results and now you can test literally everything there could be a sapphire in here or it's cubic zirconia and this machine would be able to tell you and all the other machines right now on the market are not able to tell and this is the only machine so it is very convenient so you do keep in mind if you have it in your hands i tried my best but it's quite difficult it's not that convenient but so if you have it on the desk you have it stable laying somewhere it is it is easy like you can test very quickly and that's also what it's about to be able to test fairly quick and uh, don't get mad at the machine because it's it's just a mess if you you know are somewhere trying to test something real quick and uh, it's moving around so uh, push it onto the desk you hear the sound okay it's not hard enough you, you hear the sound you press stronger and now you see 
the result is there. Perfect. So amazing. How much is the price for this machine, single price? 1,345. 1,345 US dollars for this machine. And shipping is extra, right? So like what? Shipping is uh, how much is like shipping like forty dollars? Like, uh, yeah. In Europe, uh, somewhere about uh, below two hundred million dollars for one. Million. So hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, around a hundred dollars shipping for this machine here, and there's guarantee on it, right? Like yeah, you give one year. One year. One year warranty for this machine. Yeah, and you can also buy like uh, imagine you were, use this machine for a very long time and a uh, couple years, and the battery gets bad. Like you, you can buy a new battery, right? Like off the website, and then you can use it with the cable. And in in the meantime, and then when you receive the battery, you can exchange it yourself. You say you can you can push this here out. You know, yeah, it's a, you're able to push it out. It's connected to a cable, probably. All right, there's a little pin to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you maybe open it and show or? Is, Oh, he doesn't even need tools, he just opens like, oh, I see, I see, I see. So here you have the battery, then you would yeah. take it out. Is it, is it like, Small it's, it's yes. uh, a little now, bit... Uh, now, I'm not sure, uh, I don't want to remove it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is been fixed, but if yeah. it is broken, then you can put something inside. Like yeah, yeah, and it's a little glued in it, a little yeah, bit glued in it, yeah. A little tape, yeah, yeah. and then you... And there is a small connection over here, small plug on it. Yeah, you just remove it. A jeweler should be able to do this. I mean, they've been, they been—they are doing repairs and stuff. It's not—it's it's easy. It's not difficult, guys. It's, it's quite easy. Yeah. And this, anyway, is only the case after I don't know how many years. But it, this is quite—it uh, take, it takes a long time. Yeah, yeah. It takes a couple of years to to get the battery destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they can also use this. So yeah, with a power bank or something, you are always on the run. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's close it again. Put the cap on it, and uh, that's the machine. 1,345 US dollars, you said, right? Plus shipping worldwide. You ship everywhere in the world, right? You do Smart Pro. Very good. Thank you for showing me. Thank you. Guys, and they also make loops here. And they are very good, actually. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not paid by these guys. They didn't give me anything for free. Yeah, he gave me this one for free, but the, that was the German guy that gave it to me for free, basically. And I'm honest with you guys, this loop is better then the German Eschenbach, in the sense of I have here German Eschenbach, which uh, is Applenet, which is uh, meant to um, correct the distortion in straight lines. And this is actually horrible. Like, <laughs> this is like looking curved on the edges. Like, I don't know, made in Germany, I guess not. This one is actually better. It costs $50. And yeah, the window is smaller, of course. But at least you don't have these weird distortions because I looked at an emerald yesterday and the emerald was like, curved shaped like it's horrible like no no you rather go with even if it's small diameter go with a small diameter it's better to have a small accurate diameter than a big one that's horrible in my opinion and this is of course an, this is on another level but it's also more expensive to call it size one but it's also a small window so it's nearly as as, as small the, the diameter of this is how much is this diameter like 16. 16 yeah this is also 16 i think so it's the same diameter this one is almost double the price, I think. Depends where you buy it. For sure, double the price in most places. It's $50. Pretty good, pretty good. And you say it's coated. It's a triplet, right? Yeah, AR coating, multi, multi coated. Yeah. Okay, so it's coated and it's a triplet. And it's achromatic, you say? Achromatic. It's also achromatic. In my opinion, this is also Applenet because it's not actually certified as, but it's a better Applenet than this one, actually. Pretty funny. So, yeah, check them out. Smart Pro is producing not only loops, amazing loops, the only smart uh, pro diamond tester in the world that combines these two technologies conductivity and spectros spectroscopy but they also produce like uh, he showed me uh, engraving machines right you also have like engraving machines where you don't need a compressor actually right so very convenient instruments that because usually i wanted to buy something like this the ladies using right now but they wanted me to buy a compressor for it which is like very big and dangerous right yeah. so this one actually does it all in one it's, it's, it's not dangerous but it's uh, keeping you a lot of space and it's yeah. very noisy it's a, a so compressor is loud yeah, yeah. It's, it's, quiet, it's quiet it's quiet yeah little micro motor mm -hmm. and it has like uh, engraving okay so okay do you need so. Maybe we take a look at it. Yeah. Guys, so let's take a look at the engraving machine right here. It's pretty interesting. Here you can see the first setting ball. The ball is also from Smart Pro or? No, no, no. We, we produce only the machine. Okay, okay. Because there's a sticker on it. 
It's your logo, right? <laughs> it's just a sticker, I see. I see. Very nice. So that's the machine right here. The compressor is in there, right? We have a two model, which is uh, built in micro motor and engraved. This is the model, it's only have engraving. Because okay. we fully sold out the combined oh, model. Which you, is have a, you have another machine with yeah. the, the combined, and this is only a um, motor. Yeah. yeah, no no compression here. Or? Yeah. So you can see some nice job is did with this machine. Wow. Very nice, yeah. very nice. So the capability is there. If yeah. you have the engraver that is able to do this, right? Yeah, yeah. You also need the engraver. Wow. Are you really skilled to do this? Yeah, if you are skilled to do this, yeah. that's what has been done with this machine. Unbelievable. Very talented person, yeah. wherever it was. Guy is very it's him. Yeah, it's him. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's an yeah, gonna, really, really amazing. Wow. Guys, okay. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this. Wow. Amazing. Let me change the settings maybe. I hope you can see this now better. It was a little overexposed, but yeah. That's how an engraver is working through a microscope. Um, unbelievable, right? It's like a 10x, right? Or how much magnification usually? You can do uh, from 7 to 45x. Yeah, 7 to 45. I've also one at home. It's yeah. pretty pretty convenient. You're using some uh, lens to cut the reflect, uh, magnification lower yeah. to reduce, uh, increase the height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. so you decrease the magnification yeah. to increase the height. This is stereo microscope. It's the opposite of a compound microscope. In uh, biology, you would use a compound microscope. Yeah. I did use a compound for microscopy uh, on gemstones, but usually you would use a stereo microscope for microscopy. Depends how far you want to look into the gemstone, but yeah. Very nice. So that's the machine. So this machine just works with a motor, right? Yeah. The, the inside, regular pump, motor. Pump yeah. inside. As a so pump. Pump inside. Air pump so it's inside. air. It's also air. Uh, it's air, but we make as customized digital. So you, oh, okay, okay, because okay. there is no air out in the foot pedal. It's oh, only okay, digitally okay. controlled. It's a digital digital yeah. air. It also works with air, but it's digital. Yeah. And the other one would have a foot pedal. Yeah, this where one you does have also foot pedal over there. Okay, uh, the it's the exact same need, thing, but it's digital. Yes, That's yeah, the only thing. Need, That's the only difference. Yeah. It do not need an external, the big compressor, the loud one. It do not. Oh, okay, okay. So there is, uh, we have a pump. That is inbuilt inside. Okay. That okay. will provide electricity. But you talked about the other version of it. You have another version you yes, sold out. It has a micro motor. That's micro only motor. Different, yeah. What this is the difference one, between a micro motor and this one? Micro motor, you can do drilling, polishing, buffing. Because yeah. in this one, you only can do engraving, filing. Dimensity. It's only back and forth. Exactly. It, it only back and forth. Yeah. And the micro motor is rotating. Exactly. I understand yeah. now. So this is the machine for the. Um, for the um, setting, for the engraving, exactly. which is going back and forth, and the rotor motor is uh, for polishing also. It, it combines both, Combine actually. Both, yeah. So what's the price on this machine? We're selling for $1,000 only. $1,000 only? Yeah. Wow, incredible. And the other machine? Other one, $1,200 only. $1,200? Yeah. Uh, just the compressor sometimes costs a lot of money, right? If, yes, if yes. you take a regular machine, it's... It's uh, like a really like a costless machine. Very yeah, easy, yeah. Very and it's, it's com convenient, 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 cheap, and as you can see, if you have, have the capability of doing it, you are able to create this. I mean, this is incredible. Wow. So you need both. You need the uh, creative mind and you need also the tools. Without the tools, you are not able to always... You, it's impossible. You need the tools and the craftsmen to engrave like this. Beautiful. Take a look at this. So it looks like... Right here at Smart Pro, guys. Take a look at this. A true artist, that's craftsmanship on the highest level in the world, I mean, wow. It's unimaginable, right? Like, under a microscope to do this work, this is this incredible, it's incredible. So you would be also able to see it on the camera probably, yeah, right? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. 
So we have all possibilities. Beautiful. So you those are how the little job he does. That's all of his work. Yeah. Is it set already or is it loose? It's, it's loose. Set already. Yeah. It's, it's set. set? Already. Oh, okay, okay. I thought uh, it might fall no, out. I'm worried. Oh, okay, okay. So I can move it. Take a look at this. Wow. That's, uh, that's uh, some new new guys. They wanted to try. It. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. That, that, that looks already cool. I mean. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this is uh, when you put structure into yeah. it, right? And that's Somebody that's the. This this is uh, one hour of experience and this is uh, 30 years of experience. That's exactly, the difference, yeah. right? At least over 10 years, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Handmade carvings. Yeah, they designed some Patek Philippe watch they wanted to do inside some customer. Oh, some customer inside of a Patek so we Philippe. Just show them the patent first. Yeah, yeah. They will confirm to order. Wow, that's beautiful. You can see that yeah. Inside. Beautiful. Unimaginable. Like, how long would it take? Take a look at this. Also, the watches. This is very interesting. This is the Max Smart Pro. Here we are at Smart Pro, guys. Check them out. Nice loops, also. And we have, of, of course, the uh, CVD HPHT tester that works with the UV light, the UV fluorescent box here, which is more expensive, right? Like this machine, it's quite expensive actually, but this is uh, for professionals that deal with uh, bulks of diamonds or jewelry, you know, if you do it in a set jewelry, it's also a machine to consider. You can see here, the red ones are, pro you have different types of tests basically, and you have to read the results by yourself. You see stones with red marking are synthetic. It's very interesting. It's basically working with uh, patented lights, actually. I talked to uh, the developers of the Yehuda machine, and um, yeah, it's a similar situation as with the other testers. It's one technology, and there are different brands that distribute different types of these machines. And this machine here is uh, quite big. It's a, it's a nice machine. It looks, looks very good, very good. All right, guys, as you can see, here's a tray where you put the uh, diamonds inside there you have you don't know what it is imagine you buy a batch of diamonds it's impossible to test with a small di diamond tester in, in, in a fast amount of time so you also have these letterings here which is very convenient to be able to write down on which pl which diamond it is you know you, you, you need to know so you need to also be careful because if they move they might switch but this is a good material for it it uh, seems to be uh, not as slippery so if you put it back inside you can see on the screen here the stones and then you do uh, basically the test, a quick test. And then you have different uh, colors appearing on the screen and uh, depending on the colors you can tell what it is already. But there are different stages of tests, right? You have a, a phosphorescent, phosphorescence test, there are different menus like daylight, that's the daylight, that's the fluorescence on the... Uh, Long wave UV light, probably, right? Uh, it's a combination. It's a combination. It's, it's basically UV light. It's a special yeah, light, a patented light. It's not just regular UV light. And then you have the fluorescent. SUW lights. This is the daylight, if you can see. Yeah. Uh, there are, in total, there are nine stones. Mm -hmm. But if, if the fluorescent, if you see, there is one stone which is called black. Yeah. It's a uh, moissanite. Moissanite. If you, if you have a colorless moissanite in this machine, it will go black. Oh, so I you see. You cannot see the moissanite. That's how you separate them. Yeah. Yes. Then yeah. you can separate the moissanite from here. Very interesting. And then if you want to uh, check here, all the four stones, they are labrun stones. Mm -hmm. They are labrun CVD because this mm -hmm. is my stones. So I know. This is the window where you check your HPST labrun stones. If any stone is appearing on this, it is very easy. You know why? Because of the phosphorescence. Because if you yes. expose a uh, HPHT diamond to very low, gr low uh, nanometer wavelength. UV light, it actually has a phosphorescence that goes up to like 60 seconds. I have seen it myself. It's very interesting in the laboratory. So yeah, if you see here something glowing still, it's 100% a HPHD diamond. HPHD here. We can separate yeah, here. Yeah, you can see. For the HPHD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The four is marking red because they all are CVD. And oh, okay, okay, okay. for the customers, uh, they can use these reference images yeah. to check your CVD synthetic. Okay, so okay, the colors okay. will be, you can see, 
the, it will be similar. So these colors are only for the references if they want to know why it is marking red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they so can the uh, double yeah, check. They, they, it comes CVD in uh, multiple colors. Like I see, I see. Like so this is fluorescence and this is, uh, this is the, the end graph. result. Yes. The end result. Is. So according to this graph, these four stones are synthetic and you can double check and see okay. if this is true because um, all stones that glow in that blue color are natural, yes, right? Yeah. Now the interesting part of this is what about cubic zirconia? Do they also disappear? Yeah, or? The next test. All right. Yes. Okay, very interesting. Now we have CZ here. So uh, this is a ring attachment. If yeah. you have a ring, you can use this one. For bangles or bracelets, you can use the other phone. That's, it's a magnetic rotor inside. You have to just put like this. Yeah. Okay. Face up. Here. And we have two functions here. Like quick test, it will check on the surface whatever the stones are on the surface, mm -hmm. on, the, on the face. And the other function is called a 360 degree. If you have a stones on the rings from all the sides, yeah. we, can, we can check with this one. So on every 90 degree, it will check and it will give you the result. Okay, if there okay. is any lab damage, I see, it will see. All right, all right. Let's take a look at the quick test, maybe. Okay, the quick test. Here we have some red markings on the on this ring also, on, and this ring. Yeah. Also. We will first spin in the first ring, where we can see the outer ones. They are marking red, some of the uh, outer ones, and inside there are some which, which, is, which is marking red. So first you can check whether they are marked red, it is SPHP lab group, and you can see that all of them it are... It also have the fluorescence, yeah. these are the HPHT yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. And when we go on the fluorescence, and just the image, we can tell, we could tell already by ourselves, by uh, according to this graph, these colorful CVD is most mostly very colorful, not all the time. But if you see these colorful s colors here, these rainbow colors, it's most of the time or all the time uh, CVD type 2A diamonds. Okay, and uh, this is the image that the uh, computer is generating by itself with the AI inside of there, telling you that uh, those are the ones actually that uh, match these colors. And when we, well, what about the, the CZ stones that you told me about? So normally you are a geologist. So yeah. As you know, like uh, CZ, they absorb same amount of uh, nitrogen gas. Yeah. And they have equally same behavior, like all the stones. Yeah, yeah. Jewelry, it's very simple to identify uh, versus diamond or CZ. Because diamond, they are glowing on different range of frozen. They mm -hmm. absorb different, like lower, higher, and medium. So when you see CZ, they equally blue. You see? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're equal, yeah. Lightly, like a purple blue. Yeah, light, light purple blue, yeah. Yeah, it's different from the natural diamond, you can see here. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. And this is our mozonite, which is black. So the moissanite doesn't show any Anything. UV reaction? Yeah. All of no, the moissanites, nothing, they don't show... Nothing. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Very nice. So, that's the fluorescent result. Yes. So you, you have to read part of it it's by, by yourself. You need, it's, it's not the tester like this one where, where it tells you, you actually, this is for professional people, more professional people that deal with gems, diamonds, that, that need to be able to read this and understand the machine actually. And yeah, but it's quite simple. I mean, it's just four steps here. You know, basically three. This is almost the same step. This is the, the AI telling you what it is, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool machine. Very nice. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, what, uh, what about like white sapphires? Can I test? What if there's some white sapphire? White sapphire uh, normally it will uh, disappear here. It is not colored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's no color yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. So CZ and um, moissanite disappears pretty much. Like yeah, it's it's yeah. very similar. You know, when we look at it, this disappear. This is even less. Like yeah. it really disappears. Moissanite almost nothing. Yeah. But the CZ you can see equally frozen color. Equally, like, yeah, yeah. It has same. equal color. I see, I see. Interesting, interesting. So there is no natural diamonds in this. There is no natural. Yeah, there is natural. Yeah, you can see. These are all. These are the natural ones. Natural oh, okay, okay, okay. So you need to be uh, quite precise. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So the difference between those and this here, you need to identify by yourself, basically, right? Yeah. Machine right. already give you results, which are red marking. They are all synthetic diamonds. Yeah. But you can see from here, the rainbow color because we give reference color. On top of that, you already have the test results here. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is just for reference. Yeah, yeah. but what about the C I'm talking about the CZs. Like, CZ, you know, this is CZ, uh, no. the band is CZ, right? 
Exactly. And those are um, natural diamonds, natural you say, diamonds. the bigger ones here, they, they are not red, yeah. the white ones. So you have to be able to tell by yourself that this is CZ and this is diamonds. Only because there's by the a, behavior of the, the natural you, diamond. Yeah, that, it glows a little bit more. It has a yes, stronger yeah. glow. That's exactly. how you're able to tell. Yes. This is more dark and this is glow. It, it, it looks almost similar, almost the same, but it, yeah. you can tell a little bit that this is still, it has some glow to it. You know, like yeah. this, this has the glow. And uh, if something totally disappears, it's most likely a moissanite. So how's the accuracy with this? Like it's, it's we got uh, confirmed by Ashur. Yeah. Because the machine, laboratory machine. Yeah. Ninety-eight percent result. Ninety-eight percent accuracy with this machine. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What can I tell you? But the stones, the the diamonds, that do, they don't show any UV reaction. They always show UV reaction, right? Diamonds or. Uh, as we guess about. Almost uh, plus 90%. They all react to UV. It's very rare to find diamonds yeah. that don't show a UV reaction. Okay, I see, I see. So better to go from D to K color only, not over that. If you okay, go okay. like uh, M color, it will be. There's no. Growth. So this can also not uh, test uh, colors over over K. Yeah. So exactly. over K, it's, it's, it's limited to K. And the same goes for the other one, right? Exactly, yeah. J, I think, was or something like you this, right? You can do that, but we only... Yeah, yeah. K, K, yeah. K is safe. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. So it's meant for white diamonds that are not too yellow or going into any other color direction. And that's the only option we have, guys. This is the, the top of the technology at this point in this world. Amazing. How much is this machine? We sell for $8,000. 8000 US dollars, guys. Very nice. For this size, it's... Uh, one of the best deals, if not the best, right? Like you yeah. can get it cheaper and smaller, but it's very small. You know what I mean? And this and is the customer also have to yeah. see the accuracy of the machine. The accuracy most, is also good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like built in, right? This is not a. It's built in. You can get this. It's ready to go. Start it up. Eight thousand US dollars worldwide shipping. Pretty cool. So maybe you show us the three sixty. Uh, like you press uh, back, right? And then you press. What you press here? Okay, 360. So it's easy to navigate, you know, it's just simple. It out, even me not knowing about the machine, you can navigate fairly quickly. So now it's processing and it takes several images probably. Or First result, when you test, then you go back, you can check the 90 degree results. Oh, I see. So it's different uh, images. How many images is it? Four. Four images of every angle. So you get 360 degree angle. Okay, okay. Very interesting. So you look at this angle. You look at the third angle. That's the, uh, the back of it. And then the fourth would be the other side. The first one is the top. The second one is the other side. I see, I see. So that's the back of it. And that's the other side. So yeah, we have all angles, basically. We have all angles. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What can I tell you? And that's the that's the only option we have, right? There is no other machine that works more efficient. This is the limitation of this technology. That's the top of it, guys. You have even here the graph going through it and you can see yourself. It's very convenient. Every machine is still built different, right? Not every machine has this, right? To, to show the colors so you can compare. So it's very convenient, very convenient. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at this, guys. 8,000 US dollars, you said, right? 8,000 US dollars, guys. Here we see it one more time. Comparison. Very cool, very cool. Like I said, if you have so many little stones, it's impossible to test with this other tester. You need, you need this machine actually. Yeah. It's the only option you have basically. So yeah, check them out. Smart Pro guys. Guys, we found a authorized Yehuda dealer right here. That's the uh, inventor of that technology actually. He, um, rest in peace. He died last year, I think. Or this year, actually, I don't even remember. But uh, yeah, Yehuda, a mastermind in the diamond industry, actually. And I think his family carries now on. His son, I think, uh, the legacy of it. They are New York-based, right? They are New York-based, I think. And that's the machine here. This is actually how small it is. That's the uh, smallest version of it. It's uh, quite small, very convenient, I guess. Pretty cool. And you use actually your phone. You put your phone onto it and you have an application for Android or iPhone that you pay monthly, I think, $10. And then you can use the application. Back in the days, as we saw in these older or bigger, in the bigger or older machines, they have um, the smartphone implemented, like the Smart Pro machine right here, into the machine. And it's basically inside of there, it's a phone. With this, you don't have to actually. You can now use your phone, actually, uh, your own phone with an app. Put it on here and use it just as with the 
just as with the other machines, and this is a bigger version of it, there you can see the three different, the three different versions. That's the smallest, I guess. That's the one we see here. That's a, the biggest, and that's another one. That's that one here, I think. So yeah, that's how they look like. Maybe we can uh, see the function of it, the functionality. So guys, I found them actually. We are here at the uh, Yehuda booth, big booth. I went to the Indian guys and uh, why not going directly to the Yehuda machine makers here. That's the booth, Yehuda Diamond, testers, and we can see all the machines. Look at the size. It's better always to see it in real life because on the poster this machine looked very small. I thought it's like this size. see what you can check. Yeah, now I can also see what I can check with it. This is huge, guys. Look at this. Wow. This is incredible. check all of rings. All of this ring, you can put in rings. Yeah, guys, so they are also the inventors of this technology. They've been the first to actually create these machines. All of the other machines you see on the market are basically a replica of these right, machines but here. None of them is 100% like Yehuda. As you see, we just got 100% okay. last 100%, week. 100%, wow, okay, yeah. okay. I mean, they've been doing it for so long, you are the inventors yeah, of it. Yeah, but they are just yeah. copying, but they don't know how to copy all the way. Yeah, I see, I see. It's a yeah, 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 of course, of course. Because I talked to the they development. Are the beers, 100%. Yeah. I see, I see. This is very convenient. This is the yes, smallest. So you, yes. so now you changed your business model. In the beginning, there was a Only phone. One. Only one. Yeah, in the beginning, there was a phone actually Correct. built in. Correct. And now you said, why are you doing that? Yes. That's nonsense. Why not giving an application to the yes, people? you have your own phone. No, you have the an Huda app. app. The Huda app. You pay like $10 monthly, right? Yes, $10, $10 monthly? we keep updating. Updating. There's a new update. CVD in the market, new software coming I into see. your phone. Very convenient, yeah. Yes. Very convenient. It's very smart because there, who knows what will come in the future. Right? There is no so new can... CBD. This oh, will find out, already. the others will not. But okay, because okay. we put in the software. I see, I see. Yeah, so you keep the customer updated. All it's convenient. Time. You have the uh, phone for it. Yeah. You have the phone and um, yeah. very nice. And it's the same. It's just as good working as with the others, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, the yeah, all of them. it's the same. It's the same. same just technology. The technology is now in your phone. That's the only difference, exactly. right? So the processing is through your phone. And you have the UV light in here, so the right. UV light is in but here. But what to do with yeah. a few lights here, different lights. It's different lights. How, yeah. how to do how it. How to read them, what yeah, to yeah. tell them to do. Yeah, yeah. That's in your phone. It's in the software, I see, I see. This and it's, they cannot yeah. copy. They cannot copy. And guys, I tried to recreate this machine actually, and it's impossible, guys. This is not just short wave and long wave. It's very complicated, the, the, also the way it's process. This is not you, you can't recreate it pretty much. Um, yeah, and it's if you recreate it, it's very like very long process, and and it's inconvenient also. Like it, this it's, is cheap. yeah, this is twenty eight hundred dollars. So now it, it got cheap, right? It was quite expensive a couple of years ago. Yeah. Now you are able to sell this for how much? Twenty seven ninety five. Twenty seven. Two thousand seven hundred ninety five. Two thousand seven hundred ninety five US dollars, guys. Here you can see it. Here you can see the prices also. That's the smallest, Dr. Watson. If you are on the run, this is a little bit bigger. I would call it stationary, right? I mean, you could also... 30 yeah, rings. 30 rings. This amount of loose diamonds. For the loose diamonds. The numbers are also very important. And here you have the big machine the for 20,000. It's 108 rings. 108 rings, guys. Or you can put them 100 rings here. Very nice. If you buy big batches of, of uh, jewelry and you're not sure about it, you want to, you know, always test them, this is the perfect solution for you. You don't need to, you know, Go, you, you wouldn't go with this, right? Like it would take a long time, but if you have big batches, a lot of it depends on the size of the jewelry. It depends on how much you buy, right? If you are a big dealer, this is the way to go 20,000 US dollars around 20,000, and it's all the same technology, right? Exactly, it's, it does exactly you the use same. The same phone you can use, the same phone, the same app. One, we give you a Samsung Z Fold okay. because it's the best camera on the market, so we don't want you to miss it with your phone. Yeah, this camera is the most capable. The most so capable for this, price. it comes with the price, a phone. Yeah, it comes the, with the, the price. It's the Samsung Flip? Yeah. Uh, Z Fold. Z Fold. Z Fold. Oh, the Flip is the small. This is right. the biggest. Like, this exactly. is the biggest phone from Samsung. I see. Wow. Very nice, very nice. Whatever is blue is natural. Yeah, yeah. Only natural diamonds have a blue glow. Uh, I already it's explained it, but. See, whatever is blue. Any blue yeah. is natural. Any blue is natural. Anything which is not only, even blue, but it has uh, red yeah. marking or any other color, love blue. But it has also the option just to show the normal, like yes, fluorescence. Yes. And this is the yes, AI. This is, yes, this is exactly. the AI finding out which yeah, stones exactly. is, and you can double check. You can exactly. you can check you can yourself. See here, you can see 
normal, and yeah. you can see that's the normal. Is the, and now the, the computer tells yeah. you already, okay, those are ones, the ones, exactly. and you can compare by itself. Exactly. And you also have the phosphorescence, which is this. This exactly. would be HPHT, right? Exactly. The phosphorescence. Exactly. All of and the, the long UV. If in long UV it's blue, it's also 100% natural. Also 100%. Okay, okay. So that's the normal test. This is the this is the final result. This is the final result. This actually. is the combination of the color and the because uh, everything which is you can see yeah, here yeah, yeah. is marked in red in here. Oh, okay. So that's the HPHT what's marked. Yeah. And um, the blue ones are the natural, natural ones. And you have the okay, original okay. picture. Of that's course. the original picture. Very nice. Very nice. So it's uh, pretty much the same technology as the others, but it's more accurate, right? It's yeah, it's yeah. the the they you you us, but yeah. not all the way. You've been the first. You've been the first. You I'm have not only the first. This is the fourth model. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the so fourth every, model. Yeah. every I'm, I make the new whatever. Yeah, of course. They of course. stayed behind. That's why they cannot get 100 percent. Yeah, I see. I see. That's so, why yeah. we are the only one who can get in the beers. 100 percent certified. 100 percent accuracy. And also the capabilities in terms of prices. I mean, this machine, yeah, nobody, this is, nobody has a machine for 2,795. And you can use your own phone. Like, this is light. Like, yeah. it's not heavy. You know what I mean? Oh, so we charge it with the okay. iPhone. With the regular the USB-C. Regular USB-C. USB 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 One month you can work. Oh, well, no that was my fault, sorry. That's how the machine looks yes. like. Pretty yes, cool. Sir. Beautiful. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Germany. Deutschland. Germany, Deutschland. Yeah. Oh, were you talking with me? You were you the guy? There was a guy in Germany who. Yes, I was talking to you. Talking to me probably. again. again uh, yeah, yeah, to probably. Figure out what I tried to doing. figure out what you are doing, guys. I think it was me. Yeah. It was you. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's this Australian guy. He, he was trying. He actually did it, and he has his own application. But it's so inconvenient because you have to take photos, and it's you need you need a team. Like you, you obviously have a team, and uh, What's the. What's my new friend's name? Valley. Valley. I'm Valley. Sean. Nice this to meet you. All right. You're based in New York or? I'm Tel Aviv, but Tel Aviv. I go a lot to New York. You go a lot to New York. There's a lot of diamond salt in New York, right? <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. All over, but I live in Tel yeah. Aviv. Tel Aviv, very nice. So here we are, we made it to the Yehuda. Finally, I wanted to see this machine. Everybody in Germany, in Berlin, tells me they have the you machine. You have a dealer in uh, Germany. You have a, a dealer? A good. I know him, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. also in he's uh, Colored Diamonds, he sells. Yes, yeah, yeah, I know. Diamonds, yes. yeah, yeah. Very good people. Very good, but so he's not in Berlin, locally. right? He's not in Berlin. He's in, uh, no, he's... Uh, forget where he is. Wherever he is. They always told me they have the machines, but no one actually showed it to me. I was the only man with a synthetic lab diamond tester that owned one, actually. I mean, there have been some guys, but they, they, none of them had the real Yehuda. The real, I always wanted to see the real one, the real deal. Guys, and here we are. Amazing machines. But if you have people who want seven to eight good, it's, it's easy. Locally. It's easier to uh, distribute. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, they have it. Yeah. But it's also interesting to see the machine in real life, you know, that's because I don't know the sizes, you know, I, 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 I like it, it's convenient, it's small, you know, if you just small, want to test. Small, it's lightweight, it's yeah. rechargeable. Very nice. The, effect, the, the most important is rechargeable. Exactly, yeah, it's, it's rechargeable, yeah. No batteries, just rechargeable. But inside, the, the rechargeable. For the, the oh, okay, okay. buyer, seller. You don't have to connect to the electricity. Exactly. Yeah. This one has to be connected, this one has to be connected. Oh, okay, to a... Uh, yes, 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 yes. You USB. Charge it with oh, okay, a regular okay, phone charger. I see USB C, so as you can see, guys. Very nice, very nice. So, this is uh, not even possible to work on battery, like you always no, no, need outlet. To be okay, this has to need, this needs an outlet. Very nice. But can I tell you more, man? This is, this is all you need to know about Yehuda. This is the inventor of the machine, the uh, most accurate now in the world, 100% accuracy, and uh, that's it. That's the highest you can go with diamond testers, basically. You there can we work are. For me. You can work for me. All right. Thank you so you much. Man. Been. Thank you so much. Thank you. But if you need something in Germany, yeah. you can contact them. Tell them for sure. You to help for you. sure. All right, guys. So I just confirmed this machine is able to tell apart natural type 2A from synthetic type 2A diamonds, which the other machines are not able to. So, guys, very, very important information. If you have a natural, expensive type 2a diamond you put it in this machine it is able to tell you that it is a natural type 2a and not a cvd because all cvd diamonds are type 2a diamonds amazing jehuda what can i tell you so guys unimaginable this website has 80 percent of all the, the yeah, diamonds b2b to b or 80 percent of all the diamonds that are sold online right 80 percent of the world's diamond inventory is available here Inventory of the world's inventory. World's actually. diamond merchants. Eighty percent of the world's diamond merchants have their inventory here. 
All right, we have that's two million diamonds, a million natural, a million lab grown. Wow. By any diamond in the world. We'll so check it, so check it. that's how fast the lab grown has uh, lab market has grown. A half of it is already lab. Correct. Wow, that's Correct. also interesting stats to know. So the name name of the brand is Nevoda, right? Nevoda. Nevoda. Correct. Nevoda. Nevoda. And I use platforms like this it's good to know now about Nevoda because I use this platform to pick the cuts because you cannot rely on GIA unfortunately on uh, grading the cut they do whatever they want to do I mean I saw stones that have been horrible and triple A excellent uh, graded but here you can do it by yourself because if it has a video you can actually filter out has a video has an image this image so click on has a video and you will see a video you are able to separate basically the bad stones from the good stones. You can grade the stone by yourself by looking at the video. A heart and arrow cut stone, you can tell you can by the video. The you can actually filter for the hearts and arrows. Now, I'm not, I don't know about the accuracy on that, but it, it's actually, a, it, it would help you. It would at least, do you mean like? Official hearts and arrows. Official hearts and arrows, how, how does that work like? Is it in the certificate? Does it have to do with the certificate or...? Because the um, AGS used to do uh, certifications with stuff like that, but uh, they have closed down because the GIA bought them up and closed them. Um, so yeah. Is it AI based that it might maybe sees the, the hearts and arrows in the imagery and then helps it identify? So that's a, an amazing idea. If you would implement AI into this website and you would, uh, the AI could recognize the hearts and arrows by the imagery, this would be ideal, like literally, like AI will change this planet for sure. So that's the GIA certificate. As you can see, we have a triple excellent cut, but we, do, we can't work with this because the, the, the identification is first of all limited by the measurements because it's, the computers are limited and calculating power basically but you, we also know that uh, the ranges that GIA allows and triple excellent cut to be is way too too wide the range so yeah but that's an amazing idea you have to go on this website figure it out basically figure it out by yourself test it out go on nevoda.com right it's nevoda.com nevoda.com all right join for free Join for free, basically, and look at two million diamonds, one million lab, one million natural, and find the ideal stone for you and see the prices even. Amazing. All right, guys, that's it. That's the end of the show in Hong Kong. Next year will be the next show, and what can I tell you? It's amazing. Take a look at this. Take a look at it. So it looks like walking here. To the exit, getting to my hotel, to the airport, and catching my flight. It's quite foggy outside, it's crazy. Just a couple of minutes ago, you was not able to see these buildings actually. Still, like right now, you cannot see most of these buildings. Crazy. Yeah. Guys, that was it. That was the gem show here in Hong Kong. What can I tell you? It's been a success. It's been a great show and uh, yeah, that's how it looks like. A lot of great experiences here. The jewelry, gem world show, Hong Kong. I hope you enjoyed the series here. It was my first time being here. I learned a lot, I saw a lot. And it was a pleasure to be here, guys. It was a pleasure, it was an honor. Thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe. Do whatever you want to. If you have learned something, I think you can appreciate the value of my videos and you will uh, share it and like it and uh, con continue to watch. So um, I think subscribing is definitely a good idea because then you don't forget about it if I post a new video, you know. So you will stay updated, but I think you also have to activate this bell on the YouTube uh, platform so you get the notifications once I upload another video. So keep in mind to uh, ring the bell 
push the bell button on YouTube and stay updated. This is the uh, German Jewelry World Expo, the biggest in the world. And that was it for 2024 here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out and bye. All right, guys, that's it. That's the Hotel Bennett, the five star, the uh, Michelin cooking five star hotel. Oh, it's not as nice as you might think it is because. No, this is not it, guys. So it looks like. Yeah, it's a reception. It's a reception part of the hotel. Yeah. Now we go downstairs actually and uh, take our luggage and go to the airport. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's the Audi. And it does look like the Lamborghini. <laughs> you just don't have the push buttons. Very similar SUV. Very nice, very nice. Same body, different price, different brand. Made in Germany, guys. This is definitely sick. And the fake Lamborghini Euros. <laughs> it's actually the real one because I think this is the prior was prior on the market to the Euros, so they made the Euros like this car. Interesting, interesting tunnels yeah and you can see a lot of luxury cars here so you are forced into luxury well it, this place might be nice if you are uh, used to amazing luxury in your country and you really step it up a game I mean like the highest class when you really go to the four seasons you know and you want a want presidential suite or something and you, you don't care about nothing anymore then you can really enjoy this here then you can also get the tuna steak that I want for sure. Yeah. Like, but you better have to spend like two hundred dollars on that probably. You know, so yeah. Take a look at the bridge. Pretty cool. That's the ocean right here, and that's the city. You can barely see the city. Like, I mean, the fog is so strong. And look at the amount of ships. Just probably not even the bu the busiest day. I mean, imagine everything that is worldwide supplied and electronics, I mean everything, was, is exported from here. Like you cannot imagine, this is the biggest hub in the world actually, worldwide the biggest hub when it comes to distributing goods. Crazy. Cannot, this is literally like in a One Piece movie. You know, you know One Piece, like, yeah, yeah. it's literally here like crazy anime stuff, like wow. I would open the window, but I'm scared that my camera will fall out and I'll lose all of the footage. But yeah, that's how it looks like on the other side. It's crazy. Hong Kong is uh, the hub. You can see the... Uh, it's also on water here. It's the... Uh, the docks. The docks, yeah, the docks. Where they can uh, take off the big containers, I guess, of the, of the uh, ships. And here it also stands. Slippery road. Pay attention. The mountains are magnificent. Look at this. Wow, I hope you can hear me. I use now the uh, inbuilt microphone and it should work because it's directly aimed at my mouth. Pretty cool, man. Guys, so we are at the airport, as you can see. Very interesting. Take a look at this. That's uh, the uh, island, no it's not the island, it's the airport, it's a different section of uh, Hong Kong. Here we can see the airport, obviously. And now we will uh, check our luggage in and get going to Bangkok again. Let's go guys, let's go. Well you might think I'm at a mall and this is a Chanel store because it uh, looks like it, even the entrance. But I'm actually at the Hong Kong airport guys. Dude, this is insane. Take a look at this here. The airport <laughs> is insane, literally. This is the Chanel store here. Pop-up store. I mean, it's not even a pop-up store. It's literally a store. It's built <laughs> into the airport. And then we have a Louis Vuitton store looking like a bag. I mean, this is dope. Look at this. The Hong Kong airport. Yes, we made it through security. We are now in the duty-free section. And the only goal would be McDonald's because I'm able to eat fries there 
and I don't eat meat and I have a strict diet, so uh, no dairy, just fish. So let's see what I can consume in there. So all I have to starve, basically. Oh man. Take a look at this. What the hell does that represent? I mean, oh, it's for children to play. <laughs> I recognize that. I recognize that. Interesting. So there's a McDonald's, 24 hours open. And yeah, I'm not that exhausted anymore, but I'm still not at 100% battery in the sense of this week was super exhausting. Today is Sunday. Can't believe it's Sunday. On Monday I arrived here. On Tuesday, actually. Wait a second. No, on Monday I arrived. And on Tuesday I went to the, to the, con to the exposition and I was able to enter because I was too late on Monday. Because I missed my flight because I have a German mentality and Thailand is a little bit complicated. So that's another story. That's, uh, let's see what McDonald's has to offer. All right, we gotta go downstairs. They look very healthy and happy. <laughs> I have no clue what they say, so let's choose English. Dine in. All day. Airport exclusives. This is not McDonald's. Oh, I see, that's a different store. Interesting. <laughs> I thought it was McDonald's. I didn't even pay attention to it. So what do they have? Pork, whatever. Uh, let's see. So McDonald's is on the other side, as I can see now. Yeah, sometimes you just walk, you don't look. I feel like in a modern warfare video game or Call of Duty or Halo, yeah, Halo, Halo video game. With these uh, female voices, robotic voices speaking. Here it is. <laughs> amazing. Yes, this is amazing. <laughs> Listening to the new Sennheisers. These are the potatoes a little bit. Yeah. The amount of gates is unimaginable. There are 230 gates, I guess. And uh, I was irritated because I walked until the 30th gate or something. Those are actually the gates, these numbers you see upstairs. It's weird. Like, I thought it ends at a certain letter or a certain gate. Uh, no, it, was not, it was no letters, it was numbers. Incredible, incredible. So I walked until the 30th gate, I guess. And now. I walked back and I thought it ends. Fortunately, I found this train here. Apparently, you can drive there actually through the airport to the gates. That's how big this airport is, actually. I mean, it's similar in the Thai airport. You also have trains there, I think. Yeah, yeah, I've been driving a train there too. So, yeah. Check out these headphones. They're super dope. The Momentum 4 from Sennheiser. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Definitely better than most of the headphones.
Well, I'm listening to music right now. Stop. Okay, now it's music stop. Listening to music. These headphones are amazing. Ridiculously good. I think this is insane. What? Can I walk here actually? Is this connected? Like I saw the numbers from far away. Like I was at 30 and then, then I saw like 33 or something even. And then I stopped because I thought like that's the end of the air of the uh, airport. I don't know how this is. I think it's not directly connected. I think I saw the end of that hall. Maybe those are different halls. You actually have to go through the uh, basement and uh, drive with the train, I think. Well, regardless of that, I need to find the right gate and then I can board. Because I will be boarding in uh, 10 minutes, I think, around that. Let's see. So you see the shop, you see the water. Wow, very convenient. Eight Hong Kong, Hong Kong dollars is like five dollars, I think. Five US dollars or five euros. For this little bottle, I refuse to pay that. Let's see what the other shop has to offer. I'm literally um, boarding in six minutes, so it should be six minutes now. I don't fly first class actually, so I will not be boarding first. Um, board separate actually, that's also an option. But usually boarding, the first boarding is with the um, exclusive first line tickets. It's going through the same hall though, I think. It's only one connection to the airplane. Yeah, we, we walk through the same gate basically. But yeah, he also in headphones, take a look. The bows, I guess they're also good, but I feel like Sennheiser is more precise. Oh man, I could have saved some money there. Whatever, because it's tax-free. I think it's overall tax-free. This is sick, Dragon Ball Z X Final. Dude, this is, I would literally buy this if I would have the time. This is so cool. <laughs> Take a look. Wow, look, this is really, really cool idea. Like, you can literally open this, looking like one of the capsules. The Saiyans arrived in our freezer or whoever. It's, I guess they don't sound too good, but just as a you know gimmick, pretty cool. Yeah. So check out Sennheiser, your in-ears, these here Momentum ones, very comfortable, super, super nice in-ears. That's not the point, I wanted to buy water actually. How much is the water? Is it even more? Oh, I'm, I'm so stupid, it's not, oh, eight Hong Kong dollars would be like one dollar. You always have to move one, let me show you. So you have 17 right here, right? 17, 17 means, here's the karma. You basically move one comma, now it's $1.7, and then you add a little bit, so let's say $2. would be two US dollars, this public water. I was so irritated. You can get two for 28, that would be $3, or a little bit more than $3. I guess we gotta go back to the other store. No, I'm just buying this now. I guess one water is enough. <laughs> one public water. Cannot be concerned about the pricing. We need to get the flight. Ah, sorry for the uh, camera management. A little inconvenient to have everything in my hands. All right, let's go to the airport plane. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally at the end of the airport, like 219, 290th gate, so it's uh, 230 gates total. And uh, yeah, crazy, crazy. Let's go onto the airplane and uh, Take the flight to Bangkok and uh, take some rest. Let's just say that. <laughs> so I got like this hallway here, connecting to the different docks. Yeah, call them the docking stations. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is. I was irritated. I was like, why is this so large? It's just the hallway to the docking stations. So it's very sophisticated here. It's raining outside. Crazy. So I miss no good weather here, it's time to leave guys. Let's go to Bangkok and yeah, make more videos.